suddenly there came this desire to change, to change the way time was represented. All the usual indications on a watch go round in a circle. Whether it's the minute, the hour, the day of the week, whatever, there's always a dial and a 360 degree circle to make a full cycle. The idea is to go from 360 to say 120, which gives us this retrograde display. It's quite an advantage, because you can use the edge of the case or a very long hand. It's a very aesthetic, sensitive approach to time, one that represents the beginnings and ends of these cycles in a very clear way. Obviously it's hard to achieve. It has to be perfect. Each element has to be made with care. Someone once told a great watchmaker that the watch must have the courtesy to give the time. When you think that on some of today's watches you can barely read the time, it's a bit of a problem. Properly used, a retrograde display is a more positive, easier way of reading the time, and more pleasing on the eye than a round dial. A lot of my most interesting creations are the result of sleepless nights. I tell myself, forget it, it can't be done. And then I just can't help it, I have to see it through. A lot of things came to be simply because I was given something impossible to do. If we only ever do the things we already know, we won't get very far. One thing is for sure, I love the impossible. I do have a soft spot for retrogrades. I've made a lot of them, and now it seems other brands and other people are waking up to the idea and making their own. But it's still a baby I care a lot about. of other ideas anyway. I'll never abandon retrograde displays because I enjoy making them. But obviously, there are a lot of other things I can do as well.